just drives I was really okay with you ask can you just sum that up yeah what a game of football it was crazy wasn't it obviously we scored three in the first half probably could have scored a few more um, and then obviously they've reacted to the second half, you know, got very front foot and got after us and obviously the early goal in the second half put us a little bit on the back foot and then a little bit of naive and youth and stuff and the mistakes we made in the second half and then, yeah, it culminated in conceding, what was it, the 90th minute and then um, missing a penny in the 96th minute, but um, yeah, it was a crazy game before. Is there anything um, that you can say kind of went wrong or is it like you said, it's just one of those games you can't really manage? No, listen, we could have... Could have scored six or seven goals here today, and they probably in the second half could have scored the same as well. So sometimes it goes for you, sometimes it goes against you. We made seven or eight changes, you know, a lot of uh, young boys, but I thought it was brilliant, especially first half. I thought it was absolutely excellent. And then maybe that's that um, the game management side of it when things get a little bit tricky against you to regroup and um, come together and you know hold out to win the game. But um, it seems a mad game of football, cracking game of football. But they've been like that the whole season, you know, they've been scoring lots of goals, they've been conceding lots of goals. So I truthfully said to Jason at 3 0, because they're always going to have threats and attack-minded players and then yeah, ultimately for us it's gone against us a couple of goals were really un unlucky I think one of them was a deflected goal that went in the 3-3 but yeah it's, it's and I suppose yeah the positives are some good performances from the young lads that came in was that yeah. good to see and good for the future? Yeah, yeah no listen Blair played in a position he's never played for us to right wing back I thought he'd done really well score he'd done excellent at left side centre I thought he'd do really well and obviously Hilly scoring the two goals as well so um, just a little bit guy for Dan as well, missing the penalty at the end. He's such a confident boy that he wanted to take the penalty, and I think um, Ryan probably wanted to take it as well, obviously on his hat trick. But um, to be fair to the goalkeeper, like Roscoe did, he well, pulled off a good save. So um, it's just, just a mad game of football. I've got to see the incident back as well. I've never been involved in a game of football where your lad's through on goal and you're getting a penalty, or maybe a free kick on the edge of the box and their centre half's getting sent off. And then, what was they standing together? Four or five minutes? And then somehow the ref made a complete different wrong decision so it's um got i've never been involved with something like that but that, that don't take away from what a mad game of football it was and i suppose a word on Ryan hill like i said he's got the two goals he was really impressive today wasn't he yeah look he's a lively lad and he's listened we were very confident when we signed him he was even he played last half hour for hampton against us pre-season their manager didn't want to start because he knew i was interested in him pre-season so um it was great to get him in and look he's been working really hard training really hard and he's, look, he's pushing for a, a place in the side and um up. There's so many games coming up this next couple of months. I think it's really encouraging to see that all these boys can come in and you know perform. And um, look, we never make seven, eight changes for league games, but if there's one or two changes, some of the younger lads come into it and they come back out and chop and change it, they've all proven that they're more than good enough to play this level. You know? And then um, Allstone are in and around the playoffs, so they had a real good start to the season. So we wish the best in the next round of the FA Trophy, you know.